So what the hell is going on in Cyprus? Why are some people losing their drones? And why does my phone keep thinking I'm in Lebanon? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain why, who this is affecting, and why some people are losing their drones. Oh no! Having recently moved from Toronto, Canada to Cyprus, a lot of my friends here were warning me about the GPS issues that they were having and some of them losing the drones and even publishing their experiences on Instagram. Some were lucky and able to retrieve the drones, others were lost at sea. And this isn't down to pilot error. I even experienced GPS spoofing when I was filming last week's video and I'll be sharing my experience of what actually happened. And if you're watching this from the USA or Canada, even though this doesn't directly affect you, this will be a good topic to understand just in case it does ever happen to you. If you're new, hello, my name is Demetrios and I create videos on drones, photography and everything in between and it's a mixture of entertaining and educational content. Now let's take a look at what's actually going on, why people are losing their drones and how you can prevent this from happening. So what is actually happening? Well, this all started last year in October 2023 when the Israel Hamas war started. When I was diving deeper into this to learn more about GPS jamming and GPS spoofing, what I'll do is I'll put some links uh, in the description box down below and maybe some pinned comments as well to two videos explaining how GPS jamming and GPS spoofing works. But in short, GPS jamming is actually illegal and it's actually not very hard. Because the satellites are so far away, there's a lot of interference. It's not that hard to be able to jam or block those signals with a stronger signal. Now, this is not what Israel is doing. Israel is actually using GPS spoofing, which essentially means it's thinking that you're somewhere else. Hence why every time I'm driving in the car or I'm flying my drone, it thinks I'm in Beirut airport. Now, Israel are using this as a defense mechanism to prevent being attacked by Hamas. Luckily, I still have my DJI 3 and I've not lost it. Now, this isn't a frequent occurrence. It happens randomly. It doesn't happen every day. Well, from my experience, it hasn't happened every day. However, this has picked up in frequency in 2024 from March, April. So who is this actually affecting? Well, we know recreational drone pilots are affected, whether it's for a simple photo or video to share on social media, but also professional drone pilots, whether it's for real estate, construction updates, forest fires, search and rescue, and the list goes on. We know our mobile phones are affected, so tourists that come over here and want directions to a local restaurant, now it's telling them it's gonna take them several days to get there because their phone thinks they're in Lebanon. I experienced this the other day, but with the GPS spoofing, I was also getting welcome messages thinking I was in Lebanon, and if I wanted to use my phone abroad to do X, Y, and Z. TV is also affected, and I know my grandma has experienced this, where she's watching a film and then momentarily the signal goes. Aviation is another one affected. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about you worrying whether the plane's going to get lost. Aviation has a lot of redundancies in place, and air traffic control is helping manage the situation. If you do a quick Google search as well, they do assure you that everything is going to be fine. Now let's go ahead and like tell you a little bit more about my experience and what theoretically can happen when GPS spoofing occurs. So before I tell you my actual experience, let me explain what theoretically can happen when GPS spoofing occurs. Now, I did do some research beforehand and I found a great article on a forum from someone who actually experienced this. And this is probably what happened to them, but not what happened to me. Now, first instance, when GPS spoofing occurs and you're flying a your drone, essentially it's gonna start thinking it's not in Cyprus anymore. It's gonna think in its Lebanon. And because of the distance away it is from the home point, it's gonna think that the drone doesn't have sufficient battery to get to its home point, so it will start automatically flying to Lebanon. The other problem is, because the GPS is always located in Beirut airport, airports are known fly zones by DJI. So all suddenly the drone's gonna panic, you shouldn't actually be in this zone, how did it end up getting there, which I find bizarre, because it's like split second, that the drone is forced to land. So not only is the drone flying away from you, but it's being forced to land. So if you're over open water, you're pretty much losing your drone. 
and this is what uh, they had experienced and I'll put the forum as well in either the pinned comments or the description box down below so you can read for yourself and this is what I pretty much assumed would happen as well so when I was actually filming last week's video about the Torval bag here and if you want you can check that out up here somewhere I did experience GPS spoofing funny enough it didn't happen when the drone was tracking me filming me but when I got to the top of the lookout point, it occurred. And the first warning was on the controller, the DJI RC2, it said GNSS issues. And I did record this, but as soon as it happened, I thought, great, perfect. It would be great to show you in this video what was actually happening. And that was my first warning. Next, I grabbed my phone to check that the GPS was also playing up on the phone as well and it was correct and it all suddenly moved me into the middle of the Mediterranean not exactly a Beirut airport but similar to the Mediterranean a moment later then it updated to say on my phone on Google Maps that it was in Beirut airport I was looking at the drone and I was actually taking pictures for a thumbnail or just some b-roll of the drone of itself and it didn't react it didn't go to return to home mode or anything like that it didn't have a forced landing and it did take a while for it to realize it was in a non-flight zone. Uh, and at that point, it, the drone actually ran out of battery, so I couldn't actually mimic it, and I was paddling to pack up anyway to go because sunset had happened, and I needed to head back uh, home to edit last week's video. So that was my experience. So I didn't experience a flyaway. The other thing I did check beforehand is I made sure that I had enough satellites before I took off. That is something that we're gonna explain now uh, as some tips that I'm going to recommend and what you can do to avoid this happening to you. Now, what is a potential temporary solution that we can have here? Now, my idea is to recommend to DJI if we have enough comments and feedback down below that we can have a some sort of patch update just for Cyprus or locally or regionally to stop our drones thinking that they're in Beirut airport essentially and preventing flyaways. Now if DJI can't do this for whatever reason like security purposes with the drones because we want them to return obviously whether that we could have another update so instead of the drone returning to home it can return to the controller. Now there is a feature that you can do with your drones, whether you're using the DJI RC N2 or the DJI RC2, that if you go to update home point, you can change it to the controller rather than to the drone's position. Now, if we can have some sort of update to say to return to the controller's position, then that should help prevent flyaways. So if DJI, if you are listening and you have watched this video and I'll probably send it to you as well, if you can help us out here in Cyprus and for travelers or tourists that come over here to stop losing their drones and for you guys having to keep paying out with with dji care refresh to give us new drones because of these flyways we'd appreciate some sort of update in the meantime here are some tips to prevent your drone flying away due to the gps spoofing now the first one here is literally check your phone check the maps do you have a strong gps lock and is it in the location that you're at if it's pointing to Beirut airport, then don't fly your drone and just wait till the GPS spoofing is over. There is no time limit on this. It can be a few minutes. It could be half an hour, it could be an hour. But if it is happening in that time that you wanted to fly the drone, just don't fly it. Another place you can check is this website, gpsjam.org. I, again, I'll put that in the pinned comments down below. Now, most of the world, there isn't an issue. It's just this strip between Russia all the way down to Israel and the Middle East. Obviously, there's a lot of GPS interference, mainly around the island of Cyprus due to the Israel-Hamas war. But check that first, and hopefully the less GPS interference, the better. Now, another tip here is just to avoid flying over open water. And I know this is a shame, but it does limit the chances of you losing your drone. Limassol is such a nice city, especially with the new high rises. In order to get that wicked shot that you wanted you'd have to fly over water to be able to capture that shot however this does increase your risk of a flyaway if you are going to do it just limit the amount of time that you are over water and fly back immediately if you see gns issues occur when i say avoid flying over water probably avoid flying in the southern regions such as limassol and larnaca 
Lanaka is where the airport is as well, so it's going to be even trickier to fly there. And it's more likely to occur the GPS spoofing there because of the airport's location. Another tip here is just actually stay close range and don't do long range flying. I know this is a shame because DJI's have really good signal strength, especially the 04 air unit with the DJI 3 and the Avata 2, the Mini 4 Pro, etc. You have to be flying visual sight anyway. Flying close range prevents you losing signal and activating your return to home function on your drone, especially as we don't have an update from DJI yet to have it return to the controller. This will mitigate risks from losing your drone and flyaway. On the topic of return to home, I would also advise to check your settings as well to check what actions are being taken when your drone loses signal. Will it return to home? Will it hover or will it descend? These are options I recommend that you should pick one. If you still want return to home, that will be at your own risk. Another great idea that is something that I've been doing lately is I've been actually keeping a diary of whenever the GPS spoofing happens. And that way, if I can have some sort of knowledge, if this happens at certain times of day, whether it's the morning or evening and particular days as, as well, then at least I know to avoid those particular days or times to fly the drone. Now, this next one isn't exactly a tip on how to prevent losing your drone, but more so to get into something new, such as FPV. Some drones like the Gepard C Mark V here don't have GPS units, so they won't be affected by the GPS spoofing. Now, this is something new. If you haven't flown FPV before, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't seen some of my FPV videos, you can check that out in the playlist on my channel. This is a great time to get into FPV, especially here in Cyprus, as it has so many beautiful places that are away from towns and cities and you won't be bothered with so many restrictions. And these are such great quads to fly. I highly recommend to get into FPV. I've actually got this linked in the description box down below if you're interested, as this is one of my favorite quads. And lastly, getting yourself some drone insurance. Now, no recreational flies. This isn't exactly a requirement. However, I've opted for drone insurance as I use it recreationally and professionally. I have worldwide drone insurance, so it doesn't really matter where I'm based or where I'm going. At least I know I'm covered for third party liability. And there is an option if you don't have DJI Care Refresh to be able to cover your drone as well. It's just up to you whether you want to pay the extra amount to cover your drone in case of loss or damage. Now, I did email Cover Drone to see if they would reply to the message and whether they cover drone loss for GPS spoofing. They haven't replied or responded. If they do, I will put a comment down below with their reply. If you live in Cyprus or have been here on vacation and experienced this GPS spoofing, let me know in the comment section down below and what your experience was. If you have any ideas on how to prevent this or to let DJI know that we want a patch update to help prevent this, make yourself heard down below. Stay tuned for next week where we'll start diving into the Sony a6700 and some photography content. And if there's anything you want to learn about drones, photography, or anything in between, subscribe for future videos. And before I go, YouTube recommends you watch this video next. <laughs>